Yeah. Mm -hmm. You always recommend pushing. Uh, I, push I have had two babies. Uh, and uh, uh, from reading your book, I got the mantra <laughs> yeah. for the first oh. word. Meaning I was repeating to myself, I'm going to get huge. Yeah. And yeah. did the flapping. Yeah. With both of my birds, and I didn't want to push. You didn't want to and push. And I didn't have to. And you didn't have to. And this is exactly what we see with the chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. Nobody's telling her when to push. Uh, she's not telling herself she has to hurry. She's making it feel good. And I guess she does. I mean, she's not in a hurry at all. And nobody rushes in to try and improve the situation. And I'm pretty sure that's why she's upside down, because it's actually feeling good. And she wants to prolong it. Uh, she's making it feel as good as it possibly could. She does that best when she's upside down. Sometimes people will have the baby so fast, uh, and they, the room's cold. Uh, and I think they uh, do better to slow it down. So I think slowing down the pushing is sort of a, uh, an idea that doesn't meet approval um, in, a, in a delivery ward. Because it's always like faster, the faster we get the baby out, the better. Uh, but I know women who said that was too fast. And I wished it had taken longer. Just like a lot of women will say that was sex. That was too fast. I wish it had taken longer. <laughs> You know, so I think it's good to remember that, yeah. Because when you see, when you see the baby is, you know, the head's all squished and it's nice and pink and there's nothing to worry about with the baby. And sometimes you'll see she looks pretty tight. She looks like she couldn't go bigger. And then she does. Mm -hmm. And so you have, you know, I like it to go, I've had a crowning take 45 minutes with a first time mother. You know, where the baby was really there. And this mother didn't want to push. And it took 45 minutes. And I kept thinking, there's nothing wrong with that. The heartbeat's not in trouble. The baby's head color was fine. It was quite a, a molded head. And a very big baby, almost five kilo. And no hair. <coughs> she had to get quite big. Uh, but. It, 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 was, it could be done. So again, I just think a lot of what my job when I'm there and the baby's crowning is, I'm just going, and then I go, and I'm really telling everybody in the room, slow down your breathing, yes it's exciting, but let's calm our excitement. There's time. I do a lot of that, you know. Mm. Just so I don't have this fidgety, what if this happens? What if that happens? When if I think, what if this happens, I go. <sighs> <laughs> so a lot of it's really just about relaxing in moments of extreme excitement. And we can feel each other. You know, if there's somebody in the room who isn't sure that this could work, you might feel them, their thoughts might take over your mind, and you might notice somebody's thinking that way, because you might say, I don't usually think that way. But here I am thinking that way today. Maybe these thoughts are coming from someone else. And so you, you know, really slow it down and think of them. <laughs> Maybe you make a little, nice little relaxing comment. Like Sometimes it takes a while. And sometimes I'll tell the mother, you know, it's better to go slowly because it's really nice to be able to sit down without pain when your baby's born. And they go, oh, that makes sense. Because a lot of times when they're having their first vaginal birth, they too want to go, they want to get it over with. And then they go too fast. So I like that to be slow too. Yeah. Uh, I, I was thinking, I really like in your books how you call it rushes. Rushes, yeah. yeah instead of uh, labor pain, because the Swedish yeah. word call it verka, which is, I mean, the word for pain, basically. Uh -huh. But if you, uh, since 
Uh, this is my third one, and, uh, which I had at home, and uh, I had, I always had that in mind while, yeah. while I was giving birth to him. Both the fact that this is in pain for me, this is yeah. my body working, and it's yeah. nothing more than that. It's nothing dangerous, yeah. and just to try to, um, in this rush, is try to just hold back and relax and feel my body yeah. do the work instead of someone shouting at me exactly. push him out push him out and there was such a difference from my yeah. two other births yeah. Yeah. so and it was just wonderful to try mm -hmm. to yeah. since, since i'm i'm not a midwife yet but i'm working at uh I've been working at a birthing center and try to to tell the women when in labor try to think of Think of this this as a sensation instead of pain, yeah. because it's not. This is they they come to me with the they have in mind it's gonna hurt so much it's mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, labor pain mm -hmm. but but it's not it's just your body working and your uterus giving birth and just go with it go with the flow and think of something else instead of saying in Sweden we say I. Mm -hmm. Turn the letters around and say, ja, mm -hmm. yes, I mean, ja, yeah. ch change into yes, instead yeah, of yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. So it's yeah. just a change of yeah. letters. I got that from UKN, by the way. <laughs> it's really, it's really but, powerful. I have a video of a young woman, and she was so scared. She was screaming. You could hear her all over the neighborhood when she was open that much. Mm -hmm. I mean, just sounded like somebody was being murdered. <laughs> and then a uh, midwife got to her and showed her how to breathe deeply. And, and you know, she got afraid. I mean, she could get afraid easily, but she could calm her easily because she trusted us. And so and instead of saying no, we said, say yes. Mm -hmm. And so then you watched her change and she went, she started to push, she went, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it totally changed, you know. Same. So uh, people, poets know the power of words, you know. And I think midwives and doulas have to know that the word's powerful too. It's got an emotional power to it. So uh, I really advocate changing the language, you know, and yeah, yeah. take really all these change. negative things away. Yeah, so what you say really affects the whole body. Yeah, that's true. Labor, mm -hmm. so. so maybe maybe we could say, well, mm, there, we have so many things to do that we'd like to change. Maybe we should list them. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, yeah good. Okay. All right, let's just. I'll write them down <laughs> in English. You can. Yeah. So,